Good evening people, uh, you've just missed a beautiful sunset behind us. We are at the Palm, Au Palm, Palmonier, do you know what? I'll turn the camera and I'll show you where we are in Le Mans Saint Michel. Hang on a second and I'll just show you. I have been here with my parents back in the late 80s. I was here with Deirdre on our honeymoon. So we're back here again. It is a beautiful campsite. They are the overflow outside of the gate. You've got a children's playground there. There's um, bowls going on over there at the moment. Adults playing bowls competition. Uh, reception. You make your way in here. There's a small shop there. And like most campsites, you order your bread the night before and collect it at eight o'clock. There is also a restaurant there, which is closed on Tuesdays, but open every other day. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the swimming pool. It closes at 10 o'clock at night time. And as I said, it is now 20 past 10. Slides, big water mushroom here. It's heated. Last time we were here, this cover wasn't here. Then there's cabanas and lilos there for you just to relax on. Now, there are chalets here and there are camping pitches for tents for motorhomes. Uh, we met a couple from Kildare, or actually from my hometown, Lucan Selbridge border, a wee bit earlier on. So I'm going to stay quiet. Let's just go for a walk. There's some of the chalets. And let's go for a walk. You'll see our pitch just there. toilets and showers and then on this end you've got the gents toilets and showers there's a hundred and nine pitches in total counting some of the uh, some of the chalets are counting all of the chalets water there black toilet disposal there let's continue walking <laughs> talking to from Kildare, County Kildare. Most of the regs are French, Dutch and a couple of Spanish of the vans that are here. And then over that way, actually, I think we can cut through there. No, that's somebody's pitch. There are more uh, chalets and quite a few pitches. As I said, there's a hundred and something in total. Uh, the swimming pool is heated. I can't remember what we paid because I booked this place online, but I do know for some reason we're paying 350 for Charlie per night. We're booked in here for two nights. And I think it came in at 62 euro, I think. If I, uh, if I can find a receipt, I'll put it at the end of the video how much it actually did cost us. Actually, I think it was more than that. But it's a beautiful campsite. It's clean, it's well laid out. Not a lot of water points. Here, let's go this way. These are all chalets along here, and then pitches on that side. All chalets and pitches. I don't think I'll be able to get the drone up. They weren't too keen when I asked for permission today. However, 
I will put some drone footage in that I got when we went out for a walk to see the sunset this evening. And I got some shots of uh, Le Mans Saint-Michel itself. So I'll put that drone footage in here and hopefully I'll be allowed to get the drone up just to show you the size of this site. Let's head back to our pitch. Oh, tents are allowed here as well. And of course, as always, all the contact details will come up at the end of this video. This is the pitch we were on last time we were here. It's a little meeting room and games room in there with a pool table, foosball. But let's take a look at that pool again. Okay, let's do a wrap up. I have the kid with me here, Deirdre's here, where we've uh, actually just wait like to turn this camera and show you where we've walked from, where we're walking to, and then we'll do a wrap up on Au Pommier in the town of Beauvoir. Okay, wait till I turn this camera. We are parked <laughs> miles down there. This is a cycle walk and it goes all the way up to Le Mans Saint Michel, which is just there. You can turn down here and get buses and trains up to the island if you want to. But this cycle park walkway is fantastic. It's literally about 50 yards from the campsite, just across the road, but it is absolutely brilliant and it is used by loads. And there's uh, Le Mans Saint Michel up there. So yeah, Le Mans Saint Michel, if you come here, um, anyway, let me tell you about the campsite. We were here for our honeymoon in 2012, and I think we were here again in 2015. Prices have increased just slightly. In fact, I was only doing the prices on all of the campsites because I booked them all online and paid with my card online and got the receipt. So the campsite where we're staying, first of all, facilities, there's a playground for children. You would have seen it on the video. There is the swimming pool, there is the restaurant, and it's also a bar. Um, just outside the gates, you've got loads of restaurants, loads of bars. Um, when you go out the gates and go left, there's actually a chuck wagon where we had food last night and we intend doing it again tonight. Right across the road and a couple of hundred yards up the road is a fantastic air, which was just opening when we were here in 2012. And it has developed fantastic. And it's something like 16.50 a night, but there is no shade. We were thankful to have shade on the pitches where we were where we are parked at the moment. So the campsite is, and wait for this, for a unit and two adults, it's 40 euro, including electric hookup. They have another one for 46 euro, which is electric hookup and water. And then they have chalets and they have different types of tent pitches as well. We are paying, I don't know why, but five euro a night for Charlie. That's right, five euro a night per dog. So we paid 40 euro per night, and that's 80 quid and a tenner for Charlie is 90 quid. Showers are free. Deirdre wasn't too keen on the piping hot. They're not piping hot, but they're not temperature control. You just push the button. It's a beautiful sight. You would have seen we weren't allowed to get the drone up. And some of you are going to say you can fly a drone if you want to. I like to ask permission and just they said we'd rather you didn't. So I didn't. But you would have seen the beautiful drone footage of Le Mans Saint Michel from a walk down this riverway last night. That is it for stop number one on the Tour de France 2022. I'm not even going to try and pronounce where we're going to for tomorrow's campsite, but it's on the island of Ile de Ré, and that will be at the beginning of the next video. From Charlie, from me, and from Deirdre. Stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.